that will take care of everything you need during your vacation. Call out your target audience. You can say, are you a web designer? Or you can say, attention web designers. Okay. You can ask questions. And this is one of the best ways to, to capture people's attention. Looking for SEO company. Um, again, I don't, I don't really like this ad very much, but you know, I, I like the fact that they, they are, they're asking a good question. And use numbers. Not, people are naturally attracted to numbers. Okay, so right here they're using number one, number one, uh, 2010, 1998. And you can also use prices here. And, and test ads. Don't let Google do it for you. Okay, the, only, the best way to know what ads work is to test it. Okay, so you, you put two, set, two ads side to side and you see which one works better for you. And by default, Google will have the optimized uh, uh, feature turned on, which means they, they'll test the ads automatically and they'll show the ones that they think are the best performers. But don't let Google do this for you. You want to click on rotate show ads more evenly, and you want to do this testing yourself. Really, really important. Use negative keywords. Um, actually, let me, let me talk a little bit about what negative keywords are. Negative keywords are key, uh, phrases or keywords that will stop your ad from showing if people include it in, the, in their search queries. For example, um, Let's say you sell computers. You don't want someone searching for free computers to find you. Or if you, sell, uh, if you sell brand new computers, you don't want someone searching for used computers to find you. OK? So uh, in that case, free and used would be uh, two negative keywords that you want to add to your campaign. So first, use the, the obvious one, you know, the ones that come to mind right away. Then you can use the Google Keyword Tool. I did a search for web hosting. And if, I don't, if my company doesn't offer reseller services, then I want to add reseller as a negative keyword. If I don't offer affordable or shared web hosting, I want to include those as negative keywords. OK? And this is a really good way to pay only for the traffic that will uh, convert for you. Within the Google AdWords platform, you have the search query report. Uh, you have to click on the reports tab, and then I think it's called a search query, uh, yeah, search query report. And basically, that will show you the, the actual uh, keywords people search for. And you might think that people will just search for the keywords you have in your campaign. But if you will use phrase and broad match, for example, Google will show keywords that you don't have in your campaign. For example, if you search for um, like cool shoes, um, you know, and, and actually, if you have cool shoes in your campaign, and someone searches for something very similar, like uh, amazing shoes, you know, uh, in that case, it would be pretty similar, and Google will show you anyway. But maybe your shoes are not amazing, you know, uh, and probably I should have come up with with, with a better example, but. Google will show keywords, you will show your ad to, pe to people who search for keywords similar to the ones you have, but that, that are not necessarily the same. So you want to check what keywords people actually search for. And if Google is showing your ads for keywords that are not, uh, that, that you don't want to serve, then you should use those keywords as negative keywords. For example, um, this is for for the uh, online marketing uh, ad group that I created, and you know this keyword. I I don't care about this one. I don't even know what it means. Uh, online marketing idea. I don't want people searching for ideas to find me, for example, or market. Okay, so I want to see what people actually search for, and and if that's not some that, that's not a keyword I want in my campaign, I can add it as a negative keyword. And also do an ROI analysis. And what I mean by this is for all the keywords that's, that send you traffic, you want to see how much 
uh, a conversion for those keywords cost you and then put that side to side to how much money you make per conversion. Let me give you an example. Uh, let's say you have a keyword. Um, yeah, let's say cheap web hosting. Okay, let's say that that keyword, uh, for that keyword, it, it cost me about, uh, let's say, $4 to get a conversion. And each client is worth to me $3. Okay, so in that case, I want to take cheap off my list. I, I want to use it as a negative keyword because if that keyword is costing me $4 to get a $3 client, then I'm losing money with that keyword. And I want to remove it from my campaign and use it as a negative keyword. So you want to do an ROI analysis for each of your keywords and find the ones that are not making you money and use those as negative keywords so you don't get traffic from them. Uh, before we talked about the fact that you want to optimize for conversions and the, the cost per conversion. And there's a really cool tool that a Google Ad AdWords has and it's the enhanced CPC. And it allows you to use your conversion tracking data in, bit, in your bits to optimize for conversions. So, yeah, I mean, th this is really cool. This will help you um, optimize your campaign to get as many conversions as possible. Now, if you're a really advanced uh, AdWords user and you can do this manually, by all means do that because it's always going to be better than doing it automatically. But if you're getting started, this is a really good, or maybe, maybe you're not getting started, maybe you've been doing it for a long time, but you don't want to do it manually or you don't have the time to do it. In that case, this is a really good feature. You can use side links. And let me show you what side links look like. Right here we have a sponsored link. Uh, for staples and they have links to uh, office supplies, hot deals, in container. Okay, so they have links to specific uh, sections of, of their website. And how do you enable this? You go you go to your campaign settings, you go to the ad, ad extensions, and then you you you, you enable the side links from there. And you can find you can write different texts for all the different uh, URLs you want to point people to. And you can select up to ten, but just keep in mind that Google AdWords will show only four. A really amazing tool uh, from from Google AdWords is uh, AAs, uh, AdWords Campaign Experiments. And what ACE allows you to do is A-B testing, okay? So you, if you want to, you know, make a, a big change in your campaign and you want to measure the, the results of your, of your change, then this is the, the best tool to do it. And you can track, for example, uh, if you want to add new keywords to a campaign or if you want to increase or decrease bids. And, you know, you can see, for example, with bids of 50 cents, my conversion is, you know, this much, and with bids at one dollar, my conversion is this much. And you can also see how many clicks each one got, and you can track absolutely everything. Okay, so I I highly recommend that if you're gonna make changes to your campaign, and you should, by the way, that you use uh, the ACE tool because you don't want to make decisions based on what seems right. You want to make decisions based on what works better and what gets you the the lowest co cost per conversion. Remarketing, this is one of my favorite uh, AdWords features. Remarketing allows you to show specific ads through the Google search network, I mean, sorry, so through the Google display network to people who visited your site before. So let's say I, I've been doing research about uh, web hosting, right? And I, I visited, I don't know, like 10, 20 different websites. And one of, uh, one, uh, one of the websites that I visited was the BraveNet web hosting site. Uh, and then, but you know, but I didn't buy anything from them. And then I, I kept browsing and going through websites and doing research. And for all those websites that have uh, 
Google AdSense installed, I chances are I will be able to see something like this. Okay, and th these people are reminding me that um, I, I should choose their web hosting company over all the other ones I'm, you know, researching. And the reason why this works so well is because if someone was on your website before, then they that means that they have uh, some sort of interest in what you have to offer. So if you expose them to your message over and over again, your chances of getting them to convert will be much higher. And the way you enable this is you go to the control panel of, of your campaign and you click on audiences and you click on remarketing list. Okay, so you can you can create a new list and call it something like uh, people who visited my website before. The tactic number 12 is to use the content network. And for most of you that are advanced users, you, you're probably like, you know, yeah, of course, that's pretty obvious. But uh, a lot of people don't realize that there's even a content network. So let, let me talk a little bit about what it is and how you can use it. There are basically two sides to Google AdWords. There's the search network where, you know, that's what almost all of us know. You know, you search for something on Google and Google shows you ads, then you click on the ads, that's the end of it. But then there's the content network and Google has ads all over the web. You know, they're the largest uh, ad uh, delivery company. And with the content network, you can target specific audiences. Let's say you, you want to target soccer fans, okay? So if you want to uh, target soccer fans, you can do that through a lot of different soccer websites, you know, and this is, this is a, a really amazing way to do it. You can also use placement. The difference between the content network and the placement is that with the content network, it does it based on keywords. So you can create a campaign uh, around uh, soccer, for example. And what, what Google is going to do is they're going to scan the whole web, the whole web for soccer websites. And if they feel like your ads and your keywords are relevant to the content on a page, then they might show your ad there then you can also use placement and placement works a little bit differently you can choose what websites you want to uh, advertise on so you can uh, choose demographics okay so people who make I don't know more than seventy five thousand dollars a year or by uh, you know ethnicity or people who have children or females or males you can Choose the URLs where you want to put ads. You can, you know, describe topics. You know, for example, like tennis or Formula One racing. And this will, and you can also browse categories. So this will allow you to find a lot of really amazing sites where you can post your content. So if you're kind of new to Google AdWords and you're uh, all you've done in the past was the, the search network. By now, you're probably amazed by how many things are actually possible with Google AdWords. It's a huge network, and there's a lot you can do with it. And so the, the this AdWords